How's it going YouTube? Pastor Sits here, back to another video. So kind of a different video today with, um, I kind of felt like I needed to do a video discussing kind of my plans for the World Cup. You know, obviously a big part of this channel is soccer. Um, that's like my big love with, you know, also F1. I know I bounce around a lot in hobbies and everything, but it's really um, kind of concerning to see what's happening in the hobby right now, especially with these World Cup releases. And I kind of just wanted to do a video to just kind of, I don't know if advice would be the right word. I, I guess it would be. It would just kind of my plans. Um, anybody that's been watching my channel knows for a while that um, I'm more interested in club football. So the Champions League, but I will definitely watch the World Cup. Love it. Love the Euros. Lo love all, all that stuff. But most of the stuff in my collection is geared towards club. Most of my Cristiano Ronaldo cards focus on Real Madrid. Most of my messy stuff is focused on Barcelona. Not a whole lot of PSG there. So I was kind of going through some of my cards and everything. And I, like, I wanted to put something out just to kind of have this discussion of like how I kind of feel about the World Cup and the card market in, in general. Um, the card market obviously is down a lot. You know, if you bought any of these cards during 2020, 2021, they're probably not near worth that. Now, um, you know, some of these are big cards at the time in 2020, 2021. You got the Silver Prism 2018 Ronaldo. One of my favorite cards of all time is uh, the Silver Prism uh, Messi Ronaldo matchups. Can't remember how much I paid for that. I think it was a few grand or something like that. I got the Silver PSA, uh, BGS 9. Two of the only, uh, I only have like three or four BGS cards in my uh, collection, but those are two of them. I kind of want to crack them, but I'm hard. I'm afraid I'm going to hurt the cards. So, you know, we got the Silver Prism Messi 2018. 2014 for me, you know, a lot of people say first Prism. I do agree with that to a certain extent. I'd much rather put money in 2014 than 2018 outside the Mbappe. Um, but 2022 to me, I mean, I'm pretty much just going to pass on a lot of it unless I find stuff online like Prism at retail. It's just the prices are just silly. You know, Blowout and David Adams and places like this have boxes for like hobby boxes of Prism for like a thousand dollars. You are going to get wrecked if you are paying that. You know, I've even seen breakers, you know, not slamming on anybody. I'm not going to say any names, but. You know, these guys, some of the top soccer breakers out there are breaking these, you know, they're putting these prism breaks out at like a thousand dollar a box. And I guarantee you they're getting them for like two, three hundred dollars from their distributor. These guys are going to clean up. They're going to make seven hundred dollars or something like that on every box. I guarantee you, you are going to be paying for their kids school and their house and you're not going to get very little return for it. And it, it kind of just bothers me to see people get kind of kind of abused by that by panini i mean i know you make your own decisions and whatever you spend your money on but i'm telling you you go in deep on the world cup products um look at mosaic was 500 dollars a box now they're 200 dollars a box they're not even worth that prism people are going to go nuts and uh it looks like the release got pushed back for a week i mean look at national treasures you know better product than i thought it would be but what is it like thirteen, fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars for a case? They threw a couple on card autos in there of Mbappe, a couple Ronaldo, a couple Messi, and then you see a lot of stickers of Pele, Maradona. Obviously, Maradona is going to be a sticker. I mean, he's been dead for a few years, um, you know, and stuff like that. So they just kind of tease you and wet your whistle with a couple on card. Oh my gosh, these are all on card, and people go crazy. And now they're spending, you know, thirteen dollars for a Mbappe in a case that you have like a one in 20 case chance of hitting one. And I just, I think it's ridiculous. Um, and I guess, you know, my advice would be to skip world cup products, breaking skip world cup products, um, buying the hobby boxes. You know, if you have to, they're going to make a ton of this. I'm telling you, Panini is going to flood the absolute market with World Cup 2022 Prism. It is going to be everywhere. It's going to sell out a lot at first. You know, Target will put it online on their, you know, thing. And, you know, they'll limit everybody to three blasters and a couple mega boxes and stuff like that. But they will print an absolute ton of this. I'm telling you, I could see... 
I probably wouldn't buy a hobby box for more than like 200 bucks. And even that, I feel like there's not a lot of rookie value. I've seen the um I've seen the checklist. It's not that good. Yeah, they have Mbappe sticker autos in there. And the, but they're going to be making up Mbappe sticker autos for, you know, the next like 15 years or whatever. So, I don't know. Just my opinion on the whole matter. Don't be buying into breaks for World Cup. Don't be, you know, buy, uh, buying hobby boxes for five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars $800. Just buy singles. And, you know, if you can find some retail to rip, you know, you have that itch to rip some product. I mean, that's really what I'm going to do. But the only people that are going to win in this whole thing is the breakers. And it's just kind of sad to see that happen in the hobby. You know, they get these boxers for $200 and mark them up to profit a th- you know eight hundred dollars seven eight hundred dollars in a box i just think it's it's really messed up to kind of gut your customers like that you know i mean i know soccer was kind of a redheaded stepchild for a while there and certain breakers they put in you know a lot of time when soccer was very cheap um and now it's just crushing it but i just think People are going to lose a lot of value going in on World Cup products. The eminence is going to be nuts. That stuff's going to be like thirty, thirty-five thousand dollars a case, and people are going to go crazy on breaks of that. But again, I don't think you're going to get the value there. And I'm kind of more and more on the hobby, going towards like just buying singles, just ripping stuff. I mean, you can kind of see that from my channel now. I just don't rip a lot of product because it's overpriced and there's just not a lot of value in it. I'd rather just buy singles of the guys I collect, like, you know, these guys here, you know, for a price of a hobby box, a prism for, you know, eight, nine hundred dollars. You could get a lot of these cards. You could get a silver PSA 10 Ronaldo. I guarantee the Messi in a PSA 10. Certainly the silver prism Mbappe. I haven't looked at the price of that in a while, but it's just crazy. But anyway, that's how I see it. I'm just curious to see the um, see the uh, comments and everything. But in my opinion, avoid World Cup products. They're going to be overpriced, and you're going to get taken to the cleaners. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.